I think that my favourite pieces have been things that I have been able to indulge in uh, and then I found other people also enjoy them. I find it harder to work to a brief uh, and to try and do a commission is always a, a quite a big challenge. Ideally I would just create all these things totally for myself uh, and then um, other people would come along and go, oh I can't believe you, you so connect with me uh, and then we'd both be really happy. <laughs> I definitely think that I've produced my best work in the last few years and I would say um, the Temple of Agape is almost the sort of culmination of all those things together. So um, absolutely, um, it, it, because the work comes from a very different place, it isn't to try and um, promote or take somebody somewhere else, it's actually a more um, about making places, working with the community, making people um, feel like they belong and that's really the essence of my work about sort of really making environments that people connect with. One of the pieces that um, I really enjoyed doing and I think really works well was um, a piece for St Thomas's Church in uh, St Thomas's Street. Uh, and that was actually a commission uh, by the Cathedral Group, who uh, are developers that now work from that church. I cut out of steel uh, shapes that referenced the kind of scary equipment and poison bottles and skull and crossbones from the, uh, the old operating theatre. And then I welded them all together into a, a mask uh, to form the front half of a skull that is it's quite big, it's about six or seven foot high and uh, now hangs suspended on the way into this church space and you can actually see it from the pavement so people weren't expecting to see it, see it, which I like and also if you go into the space you've got like um, you know something of mine on the way in and a piece that, uh, that I think works really well. I do love colour and I think Britain until recently hasn't had enough of it so I think that um, don't be afraid of colour and but I think you've got to also you know be careful how you use it as well. In the past I have done subtle <laughs> and there is a there's an element of restraint sometimes within me and actually the things I do are very carefully worked out so you know everything is hand painted on wood and so there's about sort of how the colours work with the materials and it's very much materiality so say for example with the Temple of Agape if you go in it the inside is about contemplation so within that I haven't there's no colour. Often there's more than one thing on at a time and then uh, when you when you pitch for different projects sometimes you don't know what all the time is going to be and so uh, depending how the how things fall you, you can be even more challenged and um, when it's a, an important thing that has opened at, at the right time then uh, you know you have to take that seriously. Movement I think is um, quite a thing at the moment and I definitely think there's, uh, there's other ones we're going to do um, that will connect to that so I mean I don't know I mean whatever whatever happens. I mean, we never knew in January we were making this temple, so now we've made this temple and it's amazing. You know, it feels fantastic, so um, I don't know what's in store, really. <laughs>